As the Democratic National Convention begins, the political stage in America is poised for a dramatic shift. Just weeks ago, the Republican convention ended in a frenzy of excitement, leaving many feeling that the 2024 presidential race was already decided. But now, as Democrats gather in Chicago, it's clear that the race has just begun. Vice President Kamala Harris, now the Democratic nominee after President Joe Biden stepped down from his re-election bid, faces the crucial task of uniting the party and convincing the nation that she can lead America into a brighter future. With a country deeply divided and an economy in turmoil, Harris must navigate the fine line between championing the Biden administration's successes and offering a fresh vision that addresses the nation's growing concerns. The stakes couldn't be higher. As Harris takes center stage, the question remains, can she balance the legacy of the Biden-Harris administration with the promise of change, or will she be weighed down by the economic and political challenges that have plagued the country? And, more importantly, will she be able to win the trust of the American people in a time of unprecedented uncertainty? As the Democratic National Convention kicks off in Chicago, the political atmosphere feels charged with renewed energy and anticipation. Just a month ago, the Republican National Convention concluded with an air of triumph, leading many to believe that the 2024 presidential election was all but decided. However, the unfolding events of the past few weeks have dramatically altered the landscape of the race. President Joe Biden's decision to step aside and endorse Vice President Kamala Harris as his successor has reshaped the Democratic strategy and set the stage for what promises to be a fiercely contested election. The convention in Chicago marks a pivotal moment for Harris, who is stepping into the spotlight not merely as Biden's former second-in-command, but as the Democratic Party's new standard-bearer. Biden's endorsement in late July was a critical turning point, galvanizing the Democratic base and providing Harris with a clear mandate to lead. In an effort to maintain momentum and unify the party, the Democrats held a virtual delegate vote in early August effectively cementing Harris' position as the nominee well before the convention. Harris, along with her running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz, wasted no time in launching a vigorous campaign, crisscrossing the country to rally support in key swing states. Their efforts have already begun to bear fruit, with Harris emerging as the early favorite in the race, narrowly leading former President Donald Trump, the Republican nominee, in several polls. The initial weeks of her campaign have been marked by a cautious optimism within the Democratic ranks, buoyed by the hope that Harris can build on the achievements of the Biden administration while also addressing the electorate's growing demands for change. The convention itself, like many before it, is expected to be a carefully orchestrated affair, showcasing the unity and resolve of the Democratic Party. But for Harris, this convention is more than just a political ritual. It represents her first real test as the party's nominee. The challenge she faces is twofold. She must decide whether to run on the record of the Biden administration, with all its triumphs and tribulations, or to present herself as the face of a new chapter in American politics. Will she embrace the role of the incumbent, carrying forward the policies and principles of the past four years, or will she position herself as the underdog, promising to deliver the change that so many Americans are desperately seeking? The stakes are particularly high given the current state of the nation. Despite the growing enthusiasm for Harris' candidacy, the latest Deseret News slash Harris 6 poll paints a grim picture of the national mood. A mere 27% of you, voters believe the country is on the right track, with a staggering 62% saying it is on the wrong track. The economic outlook is similarly bleak, with only 30% of voters expressing confidence in the direction of the economy, while 61% believe it is on the wrong trajectory. When asked about the most pressing issues facing the country, voters frequently cited concerns about price increases, inflation, and the economy, alongside immigration, as top priorities. Ordinarily, such pessimism would bode ill for the party in power. Yet, Harris has thus far managed to avoid the backlash typically associated with an administration presiding over economic hardship. In fact, her approval ratings have remained relatively strong, even as public confidence in the Biden administration has waned. According to the same Deseret News slash Harris X poll, 46% of respondents express strong or moderate approval of Harris' performance, compared to just 40% for Biden. Among independent voters, 
Harris enjoys a favorable rating of 42% surpassing both Trump, 33%, and Biden, 32%. This disparity in approval ratings underscores a crucial dynamic of the 2024 race. Harris must navigate the complexities of running as both a continuation of the Biden presidency and as a candidate who can offer a fresh vision for the future. Her recent policy proposals reflect this balancing act. During a speech last Friday, Harris unveiled key components of her economic plan, including a pledge to work with Congress to ban price gouging on food and groceries, assistance for first-time home buyers, and a $6,000 tax credit for families with young children. These initiatives mirror many of the priorities of the Biden-Harris administration, such as capping prescription drug prices and providing health care subsidies, yet they also signal Harris' commitment to addressing the specific economic challenges facing American families today. As the convention progresses, the tension between continuity and change will likely come into sharper focus. Harris' campaign has already sought to strike a delicate balance, portraying her both as an underdog and as a candidate capable of building on the Biden administration's legacy. The Democratic platform still prominently features Biden's name, a testament to the administration's achievements, yet Harris has also made it clear that she intends to chart her own course one that responds to the evolving needs of the American electorate. The road ahead for Harris is fraught with challenges. She must convince voters that she is the right leader for the moment, capable of steering the country through economic uncertainty and political division. At the same time, she must manage the expectations of a Democratic base that is both proud of the accomplishments of the past four years and eager for new leadership. The outcome of the 2024 election may well hinge on her ability to navigate these competing demands and present a compelling vision that resonates with a diverse and often disillusioned electorate. As the Democratic National Convention unfolds and the campaign intensifies in the weeks to come, one question looms large. Can Kamala Harris successfully bridge the gap between the legacy of the Biden administration and the promise of a new direction for America? And more importantly, Will the American people be willing to place their trust in her to lead the nation through these turbulent times? What do you think? Will Harris' approach to balancing continuity and change resonate with voters? Or will the economic and political challenges prove too great to overcome? Share your thoughts on the future of the 2024 election and what it means for America.